Hello guys and welcome to October subscriber update. As you can see, I have a bunch of stuff right in front of me. This episode is going to be packed full of content. First off, I'm going to make some upgrades to the studio. Uh, I have some visual upgrades, uh, small audio upgrades, and then some networking stuff that's actually supposed to arrive in about an hour. Um, so hopefully that stuff will be here by the time I have all of the visual um, and sound upgrades done. And then I'm going to show you guys, actually I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek of some IBM ThinkPad T60s I bought off eBay. That's coming up in a uh, upcoming garage sale find video and it's they're going to be part of a project too and I'll talk about that um, as this episode goes on and of course I have to announce the September giveaway winners um, and have some good news for whoever wins because I'm throwing something extra in and of course I'll talk about that when we actually get to that uh, but first off let's take all this stuff that I have right out in front of me um, out of their corresponding boxes and see what exactly I order this is this is gonna be fun I've been waiting a really long time uh, to do this because all this stuff has just been sitting in the back uh, and yeah I I was just waiting for this episode. Trust me, guys. I'm really excited right now to pull all this stuff up. Okay, so I have a 100-foot Ethernet cable right here, 50-foot Ethernet cable right here, 10-foot Ethernet cable right here, so about a lot of Ethernet cables, uh, a gigabit desktop network switch right here, and this is going to be running uh, to all my devices in the room, the Pi Top, my desktop, and then the server in the back, um, and that's going to be splitting off connections from the Powerline Ethernet adapter, um, which has not arrived. It should be here in about an hour, as I said earlier. Now, I did actually order a Powerline Ethernet switch uh, and got that like I think three days ago it was a TP-Link AV600 and I did not like it at all. Speeds were pretty good from it. I was getting about 50 megabits per second download speeds I believe um, which is the max my ISP can provide but unfortunately it dropped the connection constantly and I just had to send it back. So hopefully the AV1200 um, is a little bit better in that regard. I really do hope that this actually works out. And then right here we have some wall art. Um, I just went into PowerPoint and did this. I didn't even bother to go into Photoshop with this one. I just grabbed some images off the uh, the web and put this together. Um, it's, you know, a, a Raspberry Pi logo falling through uh, portals. And then right here I have another piece of wall art. And I'm really happy with how these came out. Uh, they were five bucks a piece, custom printed. And if you guys want to check out the uh, seller that I bought this from, um, and where exactly you can get these silk, uh, these are silk by the way, not actually paper, these are silk prints. Where you can get these silk prints, I will put the link to these in the description. And once again guys, these videos are meant to be pretty informal. Um, so I'm stuttering a lot and I'm not bothering to cut it out. And then as you can see, I touched on this yesterday when I uploaded a video to Facebook, um, but I had my logo printed as well and that just looks awesome. So I think I've touched on everything. Um, as far as the network stuff is concerned, once again, still waiting for that power line adapter to come in. It is coming in today, the shipping, uh, the tracking number said so. Uh, but first off, I'm going to put up all the visual and audio upgrades. So let's go ahead and get this stuff up on the walls. Oh yeah, I forgot to touch on what exactly uh, this stuff is. The, uh, the silk print distracted me because it's covering this stuff. Um, this, or these are 36 soundproofing pads uh, because there is a little bit of echo in the room. People have complained about the echo in the room, so I want to fix that. I just bought some sound padding or soundproofing padding off eBay. Is that what you would call them? Foam padding off eBay to uh, kind of dampen the sound in here a little bit um, and hopefully, you know, uh, improve audio quality. So the good news is that the power line adapters did arrive. The bad news is that there's supposed to be two Ethernet cables in here and uh, someone stole the other Ethernet cable out of the box. Now this is an Amazon warehouse deal, so um, someone returned this and whoever returned this uh, took the liberty to take the other cable out. Um, that's not really a big problem because I have a bunch of cables and I have some in the back. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that, but uh, that is kind of unfortunate. Uh, as you can see guys, it's coming along okay. Uh, I'm not making too much progress because cutting out all that Velcro and putting the stuff up is taking a very, uh, very long time. So as you can see, I outsourced it to someone else <laughs> because I don't feel like doing that. Yeah, aren't you having fun? Yeah, you're enjoying that. You are enjoying that. So. What I'm going to do now is start on the network upgrades. I'm also going to uh, work on some cable management down here because as you can see, 
It's an absolute nightmare down here. Cables are just laid out everywhere, so I'm gonna grab some Velcro straps and tie all that together. And of course, set up the networking stuff. One of these is gonna go upstairs right next to the router, and then the other one is going to reside right under my desk right here. And I'm gonna grab that switch, put some Velcro on it, and just stick it right under the desk and route the cables as needed. Now I was gonna do a time lapse of setting everything up, but it's just taking way too long. I don't have the memory for that. At this point, it's been like three hours, and as you can see, I really haven't gotten that much done. That's why uh, I have a little helper over here. Um, so I'm probably still not going to do any time-lapse footage because things are just taking a really, really long time. They're going really slow, but I will keep you guys updated along the way as I set everything up. So not only was one of the Ethernet cables missing, but one of the power line adapters straight up does not work. I plugged it in and got no power light, so I tried to reset it. That didn't work. I tried to plug it into a different outlet. That didn't work. I tried to plug it into my router to see if it would kick on. That did not work either. Um, so, I mean, at this point, there's really no point in going more in depth with troubleshooting because this is really new product and it should work. Um, which is really disappointing because it's Friday. I'm going to have to wait another four days to get a new one in. And that's really just a pain. That's something that shouldn't happen. I feel like Amazon really hasn't been inspecting the stuff from their Amazon warehouse uh, lately. You know, it, it has a sticker. I don't have the box anymore, but it has a sticker um, that says inspected on it. And I really don't think that they actually inspect this stuff, especially since, you know, blatantly one of the cables is missing. Um, yeah, so I have to send this back and buy a new power line adapter set uh, or return this one and then buy a new one. Um, so that kind of sucks. I'm going to take both of those back. I'm going to go ahead and run all the cables around though because uh, I would like everything to be ready uh, when the other set of power line adapters come in. Ah, that's really a bummer. I was really looking forward to getting all that stuff up. As you guys can see, I made a little more progress. I'm trying to be a bit more conservative with those sound pads because I only have 10 left. I probably should have bought at least 10 more and I think I might go on Amazon and snatch some more up. They're not too much. Uh, still kind of disappointed about the power line thing. I have about $170 up in the air right now because I have one on its way back to Amazon. I have this set going back to Amazon and then I just purchased the new set uh, which isn't, you know, uh, advertised to get here till Wednesday. So yeah, that's definitely a bummer, uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to getting all that stuff up and running. I'm going to call it for tonight. Didn't get too much done because I was watching Independence Day with my family. I'm going to finish the rest of this up tomorrow morning. And I started routing the Ethernet cable running to the Pi Top with the Odroid C2 in it uh, to the, uh, let me get under here. To the switch which I have mounted under my desk so that's going around there around there around there and the switch is right behind the desk there it is the next day I've been working for about the past two hours and as you can see I have finished so first off I mounted all of these sound panels to the wall uh, it has made a small difference but not as much as I was initially hoping for and I think that's because I just don't have enough panels uh, so I'm gonna go on Amazon and buy like 12 more just to mount here and there and by the way I'm not a, an acoustics expert or anything like that so if I'm doing this wrong Please let me know in the comment section. All right, so that's the sound panels. Of course, you can see all the visuals that I added over here. Let me just walk over here to give you guys a closer look. So there's our uh, Raspberry Pi falling through portals, um, programmer plus coffee equals cold. And then we have the AA computers and technology logo down here. You can see that I try to uh, work on cable management. I'm I'm really not that good at it. I tidied everything up using some cable ties, and especially over here, it's still a little bit messy. Um, over here, it's much better. And I tried to run this white cable behind the desk. I actually run uh, a couple of cables behind the desk just to make things look better. I have the Ethernet running under the desk, going to the Odroid C2, uh, and that's held down by gaffer's tape right here. And let me talk about something, okay? So the cable guides that I bought to hold the wires up are absolute garbage. You can see how many I had to use right here just to keep them from uh, pulling off the desk. I mean, they they were such a waste of money. I'm going to put the link to them in, this, in the description so you guys don't buy these. Stay away from these because they are awful. Um, you can see that, yeah, they're coming off over here too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some gaffer's tape. I love gaffer's tape and just reinforce some stuff uh, because it's all peeling off from under my desk. And that really sucks because I spent like 45 minutes routing all that 
and it was a big waste of time. I should just use gaffer tape and threw those uh, cable guides in the trash. I have two pieces of really good news for you guys. First off, I'm throwing something else into September's giveaway. I felt bad about giving you guys a product that was 95% functional. I took this uh, Icy Dock Tough Armor Drive Bay and ran it over with a car as part of testing and due to that, the drive caddies are a little bit harder to remove. The whole thing still works. Um, but the drive caddies can be a bit difficult. So I also want to include something else that was 100% functional. This is the Initech hard drive mounting kit. As I just said, it's 100% functional and I'm gonna throw it in along with this MB993SK Icy Dock drive bay. And the second piece of good news is that I'm really trying to open the giveaways up to more people. So the next giveaway will be open to all 50 US states and Canada. And I'll talk about the next giveaway in just a minute after I select a winner for this giveaway. So I have the Excel spreadsheet up, or I guess just the spreadsheet up with all of the entries. I'll scroll down here um, so you can see if you were successfully entered. And for some reason, some people had trouble finding the secret code, even though uh, the page that the entry form was on told you where to find the secret code. I guess they just didn't read through it. So, you know, if you're having trouble finding it during the next giveaway, please just read through the page that has the entry form on it. I, I guarantee there will be something there that tells you where to find the secret code. So I have a random number generator open right now, random.org. Uh, we had 74 entries this time, lots and lots of entries this time. Now uh, more than I've ever gotten. I mean, it's still not a ton, so your chances are pretty good um, if you decide to enter. I'm gonna generate a number three times and the third number is the winner. So let's go ahead and begin. And by the way, if you don't win, please don't get mad and dislike the video. A lot of people have been doing that lately. You know, there's nothing I can do. I'm making this as fair as possible. And by the way, if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like on it. If you didn't, please tell me why you didn't like it. So let's go ahead and generate the first number, 13. 41 and the final number is oh, it's just like the lottery come on 30 so who is number 30 i'm going to scroll up here number 30 is that colin 583 and did he get the secret code right uh so we're right here on this road yes he did get the secret code right so colin 583 congratulations you are the winner our winner, oh, it didn't come out right. Uh, I will be contacting you right after this video. So I've hooked you guys up with another awesome product for the October giveaway. I have a Keen Set a USB 3.1 PCI Express card right here. Uh, some of you guys might remember this. I did a review on this, I think, two months ago, and I will put the link to that review in the description if any of you guys want to check this out. This thing will allow you to add one USB 3.1 type A port and a USB-C port to your system. For more details, check out the giveaway link down below in the description. Now check these bad boys out. I bought two IBM ThinkPad T60s off eBay for $10 a piece plus shipping. Uh, and I have both of them out right in front of me. These are gonna be the subject of an upcoming eBay finds video. I'm gonna just pop these open real quick, give you guys a little sneak peek. Now today I did just get a charger and new battery in for one of them. So I'll go ahead and power one of these things up. Let me move over to the other side where the camera is. Actually, I think I could just do it from here. Um, I can't remember which one has the new extended battery. I think it's this one. No, it's not this one. I lied. It's this one. Just gonna boot it up, give you guys a little sneak peek that it is indeed functional. Come on. Oh, and there's actually um something in the DVD drive. Let's go, or CD drive. Let's go ahead and take that out and see what's inside. Here we have a Cisco, uh, looks like just some Cisco networking. Um, router, or not routers, drivers. So I'm gonna close that again. And you can see that this IBM ThinkPad is indeed functional. I haven't tested this one out yet. Um, so not 100% sure if both of them work, but I know this one works. And I have some parts coming in. I have four gigabytes of RAM in already. Uh, I have a drive caddy coming in. The charger and battery just came in today. And I'm gonna turn this into a beater for school. And if everything works out with this, I'm gonna turn this one into a uh, college laptop for that kid that I was talking about in my previous garage sale find video. So really excited. These things are just insane. Quality's insane. They feel great. Um, each one has a Core 2 Duo inside. Uh, stock 512 megabytes of RAM. That's why I bought more RAM. That's just, that's definitely not gonna cut it. Uh, so yeah, really looking forward to messing around with these laptops. Really excited to use these things or use this one for school in particular. 
that's going to be about it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. You can also support me by checking out my Patreon. All those links will be in the description. And of course, don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. 